Hey everyone, this is Andrea here from Power to Moves Brazil, and I'm here to speak in behalf of Pelezinho. Not because he can't speak for himself, just because my English is slightly better. Last month in Brazil, Pelezinho was involved in a big, big confusion between Noval, Bench, and Bibor Kapper. And I'm going to try to explain what is the reason behind this confusion. It will always started when B-Boy Benjo was invited to go to Brazil to judge a competition called Battle of Titans, which happens to be at the city of birth of B-Boy Pelezinho. And you know, where there's Benji, there is confusion. The other day I even read a funny comment saying that B-Boy Benji is the Kanye West of the hip-hop. Anyway, in the middle of this competition, B-Boy Copper collapsed Bench for battle, just like B-Boy Bench has been doing to some people. Everyone, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was beautiful to see. And I will tell you why very soon. Well, to my surprise, at the end of this collab thing, the organizers of the event got furious, angry as hell. But not with Copper, but with Pelezinho. Man, she got so angry that I thought she was going to beat him up. She called him a shitbag, an idiot, a scumbag, and all different sorts of horrible names. And why is that? if Kappa was the one who called Benji out. Well, because in the middle of that confusion, she saw Pelezin recording everything. She thought that Pelezin was the one who, who set up that battle because she knows that Pelezin and Lilu are great friends. So she thought that Pelezin was trying revenge in the name of Lilu. At the end of this confusion, okay, a video was posted on Facebook, at this lady Facebook, where she said a lot of shit about Pelezinho. She said that Pelezinho was a guy that never done anything to Brazil and that he went there just to fuck it up with her event. He set Benji up. But the problem is, she was wrong. She was all the way wrong. There's all the stories because there's no point telling you right here. Otherwise, this video is going to be long. And of course, everyone started talking, you know, commenting a lot of crazy stuff. People didn't even know what's going on, but they start comment. And of course, this got to Yoval. And Yoval start asking in English, does anyone know what this lady is saying in this video? And I took the time to translate in English and explain everything to Yoval. That was just like a misunderstanding, a confusion that this lady was off her head. But unfortunately, Instead Yoval listen to me that I'm actually friends with Pelezinho. No, he preferred to listen to that lady that obviously don't like him and to all the bullshit that was going on on Facebook. So at the end of that confusion, even Benji thought that Pelezinho was behind this setup. At the end of the event, Pelezinho and B-Boy Benji had a conversation. <laughs> And Pelezinho explained everything to Benji. He even told Benji why Copper called him out in the middle of that event. If you don't know the reason, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now. So do you remember a while back when B-Boy Lu came to Brazil and battled three guys in a cipher? And then he put this video on YouTube saying Lilu versus Brazil. And that happened at the same time that Benji was trying to battle Lilu, calling him a... Uh, Lilu is a copy of me, blah blah blah. Watch this video and see what Benji said about Lilu having a battle with these three unknown Brazilians. And, and last week he danced in Brazil versus three guys. But three fake guys. What? You fucking what? Three uh, guys uh, like a new b-boy. Imagine yourself as a young b-boy. 
and a well-known b-boy such as Benji called you fake. How would you feel? This was bugging Copper, you know? That thing, fake, 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 and everyone. Just because he decided to have fun with Lilu in a cipher. He went, to, he went to the Battle of Titans with only one thing in his mind. To battle Benji. And that's not me telling you. That's what he posted on his Facebook. Dear Ana Paula, with all due respect, nobody has influenced me to do anything. I went to your event with this thing in my head already. Because that story the bench told the whole world that the people who battled Lilu was fake. So for all you people out there that think that this copper was trying to promote himself or trying to disrespect Benji, no. Benji was not very humble in the first place by calling a, a fake b-boy. And Benji's excuse was like, oh, my English is not very good, man. How can you get fake wrong the word fake by now i'm sure that you have realized that pelezinho had nothing to do with this confusion or set benji in any circumstance the only problem was that the organizer of the event jumped into conclusions and spoke more than she should this was between copper and benji pelezinho was just there filming just like a guest and if you think this story was over mm -mm. Yoval posted a video to his Facebook, even though I told you him that Pelezinho had nothing to do with that, where him and Benji threat Pelezinho by saying, if you ever come to France, we're gonna battle you. You know that Benji is not afraid of anybody, and you are the shittiest b-boy from Red Bull. You put a young b-boy to battle Benji because you can't handle him yourself. Go back to Capoeira. Benji wants to have sex with you. I'm sorry, you didn't say that Benji. Well, you better tell your translator because that's what exactly what he said. O Perezinho, se ele vem uh, aqui no, no, na França, ele vai te transar, <laughs> é isso. Ele vai te comer. Ele quer te comer, ele quer te encontrar para te comer, para te mostrar que é o Benji e que você tem que perder o seu nome. What the fuck? Be careful with the words that you use, man. So you don't mean to have sex with him. You mean battle him. Do to him what you did to Lilu, what you did to Mano. Ooh, scary Benji. This was worse than a Mexican soul popper, guys. You must remember that in that video, Yoval and Benji said to Pelezinho, if you ever come to France, Il a les couilles de venir dans mon pays. we're gonna do this and that. Anyway, Pelezinho, the, his only response was, hey guys, in two weeks time, I'll be in France, in this city here. If you wanna battle me, Come, I'll be ready for you. And to my surprise and to Pelezinho's surprise, did Ben show up? No. Anyway, Pelezinho made a video in response to that video and to all this confusion, and I'll be showing it to you right now. Enjoy. Bom, olá, rapaziada. É o seguinte, é, tô aqui na na Battle de Rue. Fui convidado pela organização há dois, uns dois meses atrás, quase três. É, todos sabem que ocorreu uma situação, né? Com um parceiro aí, falou bastante merda da minha pessoa, bastante coisas. E é o seguinte, hoje é dia 2 de maio, às 11h53, e o rapaz não veio, certo? Então, galera, a minha parte eu fiz. Vim aqui para ser jurado na competição, fiz minha parte, estou aqui, estou pronto para qualquer situação, mas o rapaz não veio. Então estou é, voltando para o Brasil e não sei o que pode ocorrer daqui para frente, mas a minha parte eu fiz, certo? O rapaz falou bastante e não compareceu, então parabéns a todos a organização, parabéns ao pessoal, parabéns a todo mundo, evento incrível, vibe e energia total e eu estava pronto. Então só quero finalizar isso aqui só com a música, só com o samba, que é o seguinte, 
Falador passa mal, rapaz. Falador passa mal. Falou bastante e não compareceu. Tô voltando pro Brasil. Aguarde os próximos capítulos. Até mais. This is Brasil. The reason why Benji didn't show up to battle Pelezinho is very clear. It's just because that city is where Lilu lives. Mr. Benji, you went to Facebook and told everyone that if Pelezinho ever comes to France, you'd have sex. Ah, I'm sorry, you'd battle him. Now, just because he was in Lilu's city, you told him that you were hiding behind your friends. What the hell, man? Why did you do that for? He told you in Brazil that he wasn't the one to be blamed for. Well, well, guys, enough with this subject. As you know, you could realize that Pelezinho had nothing to do with that. Dear Yoval, I wish you had listened to me instead of listening to those trolls on Facebook. Now, you and your friend Benji just look like fools, a clown. Yeah? Benji, I don't mean any disrespect for you as a b-boy. You are legendary, one of the greatest in your style. Just your attitude for the past three months has been very... Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. There was just a little explanation of this Mexican soap opera. If you wish to learn a little bit of power moves and flips for how to improve on power moves, please visit my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.